What's up you guys? Welcome to my story time video. Now this story time video is gonna be about bed bugs. Now I inserted some pictures of bed bugs. You see I have bed bugs all on the wall on both sides. So they are gonna be the main characters on my video. Now this story took place on what my coworker found a bed bug on my shirt. Now this happened back when I was working at the zoo last year. I had went on my break. And when I went on my break, I decided to talk to my coworker. I'm gonna call her Brianna. So Brianna was taking my order so I can eat. And she asked me what I wanted to eat. And I told her I wanted to eat a hamburger. So she wrote me a ticket down for a hamburger. And when she gave me the ticket, she was looking at me. She was looking down at my shirt. And I was like, well, well what's wrong? Like, why are you looking like that? She said, Charles, you got something on your shirt. So she picked it off and then she showed it to me and it was a bed bug. She said, Charles, are you still fighting with those bed bugs? I said, yeah, uh, well, we trying to get rid of them. I mean, we buying bed bugs, spraying everything. She said, Charles, you've been fighting with them for the past two years. She said, you really need to get that taken care of. I said, oh, yeah, I am. I said, they not as bad as they used to be. Okay, baby. Well, look at your hamburger. You enjoy your meal. So, I went to eat my hamburger, and I thought that was the end of the bed bug situation. Boy, was I wrong. So, after I finished eating my hamburger, I went back to work. 30 minutes after my break was over, the supervisor decided to come. Um, I'm going to call her Emily. So, Emily swung open the door to my stand, and she said, Come on, Charles. You're going home. So, I'm thinking to myself, what do I do? I say, Emily, what I do? Like, why you sending me home? She say, Charles, you got bed bugs. That's a problem. I say, oh my God. I said, did Brianna tell you about that? She said, no, Charles, it wasn't Brianna. Tanya told me. I said, no, I don't think that Tanya told you. I said, because when Brianna found a bed bug on my shirt, it was just me and her around that area. Nobody else was around when she found a bed bug on my shirt. She said, no, Charles. Brianna told Tanya, then Tanya got on the radio and called for a supervisor, and then that's when I got down there, and she said, Emily, Brianna found a bed bug on Charles' shirt, and she was picking them off, one by one. I said, it was only one bed bug. She said, yeah. She said, she found a bed bug on your shirt, and she was picking off the bed bugs one by one, so I need to send you home. I said, okay. So I'm mad now, because now you mess with my money. This was at 2.30. I wasn't supposed to get off of work until 7.30. So I'm missing out on five hours. So that's money. I, I was getting paid $9 an hour. So that's like, what, $45 an hour that I missed out on just from one super bed bug? I was pissed. So I was like, you know, I'm not gonna trip. You know, it's the weekend. It was Sunday. I get to start my Sunday off good. You know, I get the rest of the day off for myself. So I let that slide and I didn't have to come back to work until Thursday. So when Thursday came around, I thought that the whole bed bug incident was over. So I clocked in and everything, and a manager, she pulled me in her office. I'm gonna call her Donna. So Donna said, Charles, can I see you in my office? I said, sure. So I get to the office, I sit down, sit down in the chair, and she says, so Charles, what is this I hear about bed bugs? I say, oh my God, Donna. Who told you about the bed bug incident? Emily told me. I said, man, Emily got a big mouth. She said, the whole zoo know about it. I said, what? The whole zoo? I had to get off that chair. I said, the whole zoo know about this? Hold up, hold up, Donna. I don't like that now. She said, wait a minute, no, wait a minute. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. I used to have bed bugs. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. So just make sure you don't have any bed bugs on your shirt and just go back to work. I said, okay. I said, it's really not a big deal, Donna. She said, no, it's no big deal. Just make sure you don't have any bed bugs on your shirt. So I made sure there were no bed bugs on my shirt, and I went back to work. So I thought the bed bug incident was over. I was wrong again. <laughs> so I went to the restaurant while I was supposed to be working there. I started taking a few orders. Next thing you got know, Tanya, she was making pizza. Her job was to make pizza at that restaurant. That's all she was doing, making pizza. That's it. So the pizza maker decides to stop making pizza to come pull me outside and talk to me. And when we went outside, she said, Charles, why are you coming to work if you have bed bugs? I said, what you mean, why am I coming to work? 
I said, that ain't nothing your business. Why I couldn't work, I have bed bugs. I got bills to pay. Don't you got bills to pay too? She said, yes, I understand that. But if you have bed bugs, you need to stay at home because don't you realize that that's a hazard? You know, you're contagious. You can spread bed bugs to everybody up in here. I said, Tanya, it was just one bed bug. Okay, Charles, don't you realize that one bed bug can hop off of your shirt and create babies and they can multiply? Don't you realize that? That's a serious issue. I said, who told you about this? It don't matter who told me. I said, did Emily tell you? It don't matter who told me. The thing is, you shouldn't be coming to work like that. I said, well, you gonna pay my bills then? It, it, you're missing the point. I said, no, you missing the point. I really wanted to slap her side of her head because she being too nosy. First of all, you not a supervisor. You a pizza maker. So your job is to make pizza. So you need to get over there and make them pizzas. And don't worry about why I got bed, but don't worry about I'm coming to work. So I'm, I'm heated. So I see the office lady walking by, I'm gonna call her Linda. So Linda walks by and I say, Linda, she's harassing me. She harassing me. So Tanya said, no, 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 Linda, I am not harassing him. All I'm telling him, I'm just giving him some motherly advice. I said, motherly advice? You ain't my mama. Don't want you to be my mom either. He's not understanding what I'm saying. I'm, all I'm telling him is that he has bed bugs and he should not be working if he has bed bugs on his shirt because he's contagious. Don't nobody want to be around him. Everybody was running away from him. I said, you know what? I don't even want to work here if y'all gonna be like this. So Linda said, Charles, no. Donna already talked to Charles about the bed bug incident. She gave him permission to go back to work. So he got permission from the manager to go back to work. So his job is to go back to work. So Tanya said, okay, well, he don't need to be working up here. Send him somewhere else because he ain't finna be working up here because I can't have no bed bugs in my house. I said, I'm not coming to your house anyway. No, 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 you don't understand it. If you stand by me, your bed bugs are gonna jump onto my clothes. No, I can't have that. She said, Charles, just listen to me. From now on, when you come to work, all you gotta do is put your uniform in a dryer and that heat will kill the bed bugs and make sure you take your uh, uniform and like turn them inside out, throw them in a the dryer so the heat can kill them. Make sure you do that. And then after you take them off the dryer, make sure you shake them off real good, then put them on you. I say, okay, okay, Tanya. I said, but you know what? I'm not even gonna work here no more. I quit. I said, because y'all not treating nobody right. So I threw my name tag down and I saw power walking to the office. I'm, I'm walking on to the office like, man, I'm just walking to the office. I'm mad right now. I walked to the office and I clocked out. And I said, I quit. I'm not coming back. So after I quit, I messaged Emily because I had Emily and Brianna on Facebook. So I messaged both of them and I told them how wrong they was for telling everybody that I had bed bugs because Brianna was the first one. She the one that got the bed bug off my shirt. She was the first one to know. Then she told Tanya, then Tanya told Emily and it just went all over the zoo. You know, it was just so embarrassing. So I told them how wrong they was and here go Emily. She gonna call me, Charles, I didn't say any of that, no. Charles, no, listen to me. I had to tell the manager, I had to tell Donna because she's the manager because she asked me why did I send you home early. And it, you know how people talk at the zoo, Charles, I wouldn't do you like that. I would never do you like that. I said, okay, Emily. I said, but I still quit and I quit because of you. Oh my goodness, you know what? I'm gonna go down to that zoo because she was off on that day. I'm gonna go down to that zoo on my day off and I'm gonna get them peace of my mind. Don't nobody mess with my friend like that. I'm gonna get them peace of my mind. And I'm sitting on the phone like, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, okay, Emily, okay, all right. So a few hours later, I get a phone call from Donna. Donna says, Charles, we really don't want you to quit. Would you like to come back? I say, honestly, Donna, it's embarrassing because the whole zoo know I have bed bugs. Now they think I'm just nasty. And she said, no, no, no. Just, uh, if you need some time off, I'll give you some time off. But, um, I would like to have a meeting with me, you, and Tanya. Would that be okay with you? I said, yeah, that'd be okay with me. Okay, because I want to have a meeting with just the three of us. I said, okay. So... This was on Thursday. I came back to work on Sunday. Sunday after my shift, all three of us in the office. It's me, Donna, and Tanya up in the office. And we sitting there, sitting down in the chair. And Tanya decides to park her car in front of the door, in front of the office, and walks inside. So we sitting down in there. Donna say, so we need to get to the bottom of this. Um, 
Charles feels like you were, you know, insulting him and harassing him about the whole bed book incident. So, of course, Tanya decides to play the role. <laughs> Act like she crying. <laughs> Charles, I can't believe you would think that about me. Uh, no, Charles, no. I was trying to give you some motherly advice because bed bugs is a serious issue. My grandma used to have bed bugs, Charles. She used to have them in her wig. She used to shake them out of her wig. She used to have them in her clothes. <laughs> I'm sorry, this funny. I was, I, was, I was laughing while she was crying. Well, crying. I was laughing. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> so she she just keep on going, Charles, I really care about you. I'm sitting in the chair like, I'm sorry, Charles. Do you accept my apology? So Donna says, well, Charles, do you accept it? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Charles! I'm coming. This is coming from the heart. Miss, stop with oh, all that fake foolishness. Do you really accept my apology? So Donna said, Charles, tell him if you accept my apology. I said, yeah, I accept your apology. Okay, good. Now I need to go. I got my car parked down the front. I need to go get my kids something to eat. All right, that's it, Donna. Do I do I need to stay? Is that it? No, Tanya, you can go uh, go feed your kids. All right, all right. I'll see you tomorrow, girl. I say, Donna, you see that? That was not a sincere apology. Donna said, Charles, just let it go. So I thought that was the end of the bear bug situation. Boy, was I wrong. So the next day, I decided to go to the restaurant where I was supposed to be working at. And of course, Tanya decides to retaliate. So I took out the trash, and when I took out the trash, I washed my hands. And as soon as I washed my hands, it was an order ready to go to a customer. So I come from the sink, I put on my gloves, and then I deliver the food to the customer. And after I deliver the food for the customer, I come back, Tanya say, did you wash your hands after you took out that trash? I said, excuse me? You you just stuck your hand in the trash can, you took out that trash and you didn't wash your hands, and you delivered that food to the customer and didn't wash your nasty hands. I said, Dad, you watched me real hard. I said, well, if you was watching me so hard, you would have thought that I went to the sink and washed my hands. Oh, no, you didn't wash your hands. I saw you took out that trash and you dug your hand in the trash can, then you delivered the food to the customer. That's just nasty and that's unsanitary. I say, man, don't be taking your frustrations out on me. You just mad because your boyfriend Dion ain't here today. Cause she was messing around with a cook, so I'm calling him Dion. That's not his real name, but I'm calling him Dion. And I said, you just mad cause he ain't here today. He home, he at home with his wife. He's a married man, so you messing around with a married man. You should be ashamed of yourself. You give his wife sloppy seconds. You just nasty. Oh, oh no, he didn't. Oh no, he didn't. Somebody give me that radio. Give me the radio so I can call the supervisor down here cause he's just disrespectful. <laughs> so she got the radio. I need a supervisor down here. 911, it's a code five. It's an emergency. I say, ain't no emergency, what's an emergency? No, cause you just so rude. You don't say nothing like that. Oh, you done lost your mind. He don't know me, he talking to me. He lost his mind. I say, go get your hair fixed too. What you saying? <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and so, and so, the supervisor, the supervisor come in, I'm gonna call her Stacy. So Stacy is a 68 year old woman. Stacy, she has zero tolerance for BS. She don't like no drama. So Stacy come down. What's going on down here? <laughs> so Tanya say, he attacked me. Oh good, Stacy. I was threatened for my life. I was scared for my life. He was all up in my face like he wanted to fight me. I said, Stacy, she lying. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. Both y'all need to apologize to each other. I said, but Stacy, I don't wanna hear it. Y'all apologize to each other. I said, I'm tired of fake apologizing for her. I'll fake apologize to her. I'm tired of accepting her fake apology. She don't mean nothing she say. No, no, Stacy, Stacy, he needs to be fired. He needs to be fired right now. Write him up, write him up, write him up. I said, somebody need to write you up. I said, you need to go take your medication because you act like you schizophrenic. <gasps> you, you see that? You see that? You Stacy, you see that? Get him out of here. Get him out of here right now. So Stacy say, okay, come on, Charles. Come on, I'm going to move you to the ice cream stand. You're going to get out of here. Come on, Charles. Come on, Charles. I said, she don't know me, Stacy. She don't know me. I, I will set it up over here. Come on, Charles. It ain't working. Come on, baby. I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit nothing else. And so Tanya's still trying to talk. But Stacy, I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit. 
Charles, go to the ice cream stand and work. Uh, Tanya, keep making them pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm gonna wrap up this story now. So, <laughs> that's what happened when I had bed bugs. Unfortunately, I don't have bed bugs anymore. But if you guys have any bed bugs, don't be embarrassed. It can happen to anybody. And I think it happened when I went over to a friend's house. I don't know how it happened, but all I know is the bed bugs are gone. Thank God. And uh, the moral of the story is. Don't worry about what people think about you. Don't worry about what they say about you. And any way you work, it's gonna be a bully. It's gonna be somebody that don't like you. Not everybody's gonna like you at your job. So just deal with it. I mean, sometimes you might have a boss who don't like you. Sometimes you might have a coworker who don't like you. It's gonna happen. Nobody likes you. Not everybody's gonna like you at any job. It don't matter how perfect you are, how bad a worker you are, nobody's gonna always like you at a job and don't worry about what people say because haters don't hate you know and i love my haters i love them they keep me going to do better so yeah that was the moral of this story and i really hope you guys enjoy this story and say hey to my bed bugs that i have on the wall right here you see these bed bugs i inserted up in here they were the main characters of the story and stay tuned for more story times and for more vlogs and for more skits all right i'll see you next time peace out